Hey guys, I'm here with Job Hammond, who's seeking re-election to the Austin Board of Realtors Board of Directors. Job, thanks so much for hopping on with me. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Okay, let's start with something easy. Why are you running? Why are you seeking re-election? So it's been an honor to serve on the Austin Board of, uh, Board of Realtors Directors for the last four years. And, and, I'm, and I feel like there's still opportunity to be able to accomplish things that still haven't been done. So I have unfinished business, and it's something I like to take care of. So it's something I'm excited about doing. I love that. So how will you work to reinforce the value of both the association and the MLS system, Actors MLS? Well, the association has a responsibility for things like advocacy, you know, taking care uh, of uh, you know, public affairs, being out there, uh, taking care of our members and making sure that they're uh, considering uh, homeowners in Central Texas and, and their needs. But also the MLS. The MLS is the most important asset to the organization. And so what we need to do with the MLS is make sure that people are using it, that we create a marketplace uh, that allows us to correspond, communicate, and get deals done. And that's why we're really here. Yeah. Hey, Jeb, what part of the ABOR strategic plan do you most want to lift up into next year, 2023? Well, the strategic plan was put in place in 2019 to go to 2023 that covers both ABOR as well as Actress. From an ABOR standpoint, our vision is to foster the most engaged and professional realtors in the nation. Love that slogan, Me too. right? <laughs> and it's something that really tells true. So I think that uh, when it comes to elevating our profession, uh, education is one of those most important things. As somebody who's taken more than 300 classes, has earned uh, 30 designations and certifications, I really care and I'm passionate about education uh, and educating our members so that they can operate at a very high level for their, for their clients. And I also think advocacy is something that's mm. very important, right? We need to be able to work with lawmakers to uh, put in place legislation that is good for not just our members, but also the, the homeowners that they serve. Yeah. So I think all those things are really important, a part of our strategic plan, and I hope that I have the opportunity to work on a revised one in 2024. What do you feel like you will uniquely bring to the table to help move the association and MLS forward? Yeah, that's a, that's a good value. Well, I think the first thing is experience, right? Yeah. So this isn't my first rodeo. If you like what we've accomplished over the last four years, then perhaps uh, you know, I would be a good fit to continue on uh, doing what we're doing. And I also think that we have some areas that we really need to focus on. The, big, the, the biggest one is, for me is mobility. Yeah. So I feel that we're often more in the field now with mobile devices, not in front of our desktops, not in our offices, and we're trying to make things work. So I think we have, um, we've made some good progress when it comes to things like mobility, but I also think that we, need, uh, we have quite a bit more to, to accomplish. Sure. And I think our investments uh, in MLS uh, Technology Holdings, which um, is the owner of Remind, has really put us into a place where we can design where we want our future to go. We don't have to be uh, held back by legacy vendors having older technologies. We can be at the forefront for our members to allow them to service their customers well. So I think we're in a great place right now. I'm very optimistic about our future. And I think there's a lot of opportunities for, for our members and the clients that they serve. Yeah, I think you're right. But there are certainly some challenges facing us as well. What do you think are the biggest challenges facing the industry right now that you'd want to help us tackle? Well, I think a big challenge right now is, you know, as you've probably have seen Wall Street has dumped billions of dollars into uh, technology uh, that really helps automate certain processes of the real estate process. It's really important to understand is, you know, the agent needs to be the forefront of each one of these transactions. You know, people don't, they don't, they don't buy from computers, they mm. buy from people. Mm. And I think the value of the Realtor is going to be the one that has most importance as we continue to move forward. So I think just really enabling and providing the knowledge, the education to our members to allow them to do their jobs and function properly and not be a hindrance or a barrier is something that I think really we really need to, to focus on. The second item that I really would want to focus on is professionalism. Yeah. Right? Educating our members, making sure that they're operating well. How many times have you been in a situation where perhaps somebody might not have operated as professionally as we mm. expected or wanted them to? happens all the time and I think that can be cured with education. So letting people know what's okay in our industry, how we should act, how we should work together. Look, this is not about beating people up to be able to get what you or your client wants. It's really about a win-win situation where we can collaborate, work to be together, be friendly, 
and help help each other achieve the goal, yeah. which is to do real estate deals. So Perfect. I think those are the two items that are most important. Well, Job, thank you for your service to date. We're so appreciative of the work of all of our board of directors and congratulations, good luck on your candidacy to seek another round. Thanks, Emily. Take care. You bet.